hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our php oops tutorial and now guys in this video we will be learning about the how to give a roles for our users so we have created with the login and register so now when you log in we have to give a role which he can access our admin dashboard okay so i have just integrated a admin panel guys over here let me close all the files first okay so here is the admin folder which i have created one simple dashboard so let me just show you the output let's tell admin hit enter and here is the admin dashboard right so if you want to know how to build this or how to set up this admin panel you can watch out this video link is given in the description guys so now yep let's get back and yes guys over here you can see that when we are not logged in so i'm not logged in but you can access this admin dashboard right so let's make this first authenticated then we will give the roles for the ad user to access the admin panel so guys now let's get started with giving the authentication to our admin panel okay so this admin panel so let's get back okay so as simple guys we are having an index page where we have included the header and the footer for the designing and here is your output which is the dashboard done now let's give the authentication as we have give, given in our my profile in previous video so if you don't understand this my profile please watch out the previous video link in the description or the playlist so yep guys over here we can see okay so when you are authenticated you can access this page right so we need to call this controller so that is your authentication controller in your admin index.php file so let's call this done so we have to call the correct path you are inside the index.php let's go one step out and then move to controller so let's go to controller save and now let's refresh okay we are facing one error so you can see that it's a warning that config app.php is not found in your authentication controller at line number two okay let's get back let's go to this authentication controller inside the controller folder authentication controller okay so this is the file which is not able to call so let me just cut this and go back to your my profile and paste that over here so make sure wherever you are using this authentication controller right so just place that over there all set so now let's get back here you refresh okay so there is no issue with that and now let's include this config app.php in your admin dashboard that is your index page so you need to include this and one step we have to go back because we are in an admin folder so one step back and go to config so that you can achieve by giving dot dot forward slash so which goes one step back okay so now refresh here you get authentication code dot php error okay so why where it is coming inside the app dot php on line number 13 okay this is because um, authentication code we don't require in admin panel right so we need to remove that from our app dot php so let's get back okay so let's go to our app dot php file very simple and here is our authentication code so if you remember in previous video just we have added that code in app dot php let's remove back and paste in all the front end views only so after app dot php you need to paste this that's it so you need to call back again inside your login and go to your register so just paste that so let me close all the files and we just we are working on index and your app.php done so now let's get back refresh here you go so yep now let's call our controller to check it is authenticated or not so if you go to your authentication controller we have removed the object which we seen this in our here 
so let's copy this and you can just call that in your admin dashboard so wherever you want you can call this or else you can just copy this and declare at the last like this so which we have seen that in previous video but this is not a good format so you just need to call in one by one wherever you require it okay so something like if you want a permission of this authenticated user as like admin so admin only should access this page so you can utilize in this way right so right now we don't need this so it just checks only the authenticated user is available or not refresh perfect so you can see this login to access the page so we are checking with the admin dashboard it's returning back to you over here login to access the page okay so now let me just log in admin gmail.com one two three four five six seven eight and let's click login so logged in successfully and now let's try to access the admin okay so here's the output let's get back and yep guys we have successfully done with our authentication part which is the permission of until unless you are logged in you should not be able to access the admin panel okay so we are done with that now guys we are going to set our roles and permission so it's very simple let's get back and let's go to our authentication controller and write the code for admin user so let's go to our controller authentication controller okay so first step let's create one function so public function the function name will be admin and inside this you are going to check the logged in user role is admin or not okay so let's write the query for that let's type the query where we are going to tell that check admin okay and write the query over here select id a role as okay from users table let's give the condition where id is equal to user id and your role okay so role underscore as is equal to insert single quotes you are going to give a role okay so we are creating a direct right so let's give the role id as one so zero means user and role id will be one so one means admin okay so let's take the user id dollar user id is equal to when you are logging in so let's go to the login controller when you are logging you are setting the authentication right so when you are setting the authentication you are getting the auth user of user id okay so let's take this user id and check over here user id done and with this help of user id you are going to check it so now let's execute this query guys so first let's tell dollar result is equal to where dollar this your database connection okay i mean this one you have to call this connection and then your query let's execute the query where you'll pass this check admin and after this we are going to check if dollar result of number of rows trip double equal to one which means it should be one at least one record okay either greater than zero also you can give if it is one then you are going to tell him you are an admin which you will tell return true that means you are set as admin else you will redirect him so let's redirect him to where you are not admin okay or you are not authorized as admin and now let's give double quote and let's send him to home page that is index.php okay so this will automatically take you to the home page so you don't need to worry where it's going let's save and yep guys so let me just test this we have not created a role as data in our database so let's try to access it let's go admin okay you are able to enter so let's call this admin function in our dashboard so admin panel 
so we have this authenticated let's copy this and paste and call admin function so now let's try to refresh and you can see you are not authorized as admin perfect so we have seen that guys how to set the admin panel and now let us write the code for your database i mean create a role for this logged in user so let's get back go to our database okay so here is our database and now let's create one more row inside our user table that is role as okay so let's get back and after password i want to create one role here we create role underscore as which i want to make a tiny int and let's give it to two let's select as defined over here and by default it should be zero we have to give it. okay so when you give zero that means any user register over there his role should be directly zero and here we give accept the null and we want to give a comment over here zero is equal to user one is equal to admin and two is equal to super admin if you want you can create multiple uh, roles over here okay so let's save now done so here we see the output so he is with at gmail.com and we don't have an admin so let us register one admin okay let's log out now let's go man admin at gmail.com one two three four five six one two three four five six and let's click submit registered successfully and let's give his role over here okay so let me just make it to one and his role is one guys now let's get back let's log in as admin at gmail.com one two three four five six and click to login logged in successfully and now let's try to access admin panel admin dashboard you are not authorized as admin why okay we have given the role one let's go once again admin okay let's go and check in our code so authenticated user id you are checking over here oops we have not given this limit is equal to one and let's try to access now admin perfect so you can access the dashboard guys because you are an admin okay so this was a mistake where we did not add that limit one and now let's try to log out once again and log in as a normal user okay so way that gmail.com 4578 login logged in successfully let's try to access admin dashboard perfect so you are not authorized as admin okay so you cannot access the admin panel let me log out and now let's log in as admin click login cool so let's go to the admin dashboard done guys perfect so we have successfully created our admin role for our logged in user so let's see next video guys how to redirect the authenticated or uh, authenticated user or based on the roles user okay so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share